Hey, this is Mark Gilvey with Mark Gilvey Creative. I'm in Woodbridge, Virginia. I have a studio down here and I'm going to show you how to save paper, time, and ink. Here we go. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do to save time is clean your heads uh, and run your head test. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I've got eight steps of tests here. Okay, but first thing I usually do is, uh, since I don't run my printer every day, or every month, or every two months, <laughs> I uh, the first thing I always do is I clean the heads. And after I clean the heads, I do the test. But I've always found that I always find bad problems. So I just clean the heads right off the bat, and then do the test. And then I'm not running ink through it twice. Has your printer ever done this, where it prints half of the image, and then you're like, what? <laughs> or, well, here's another one, or it did that. Or maybe you uh, printed out something on a full page and decided that there was a problem with it, so you ended up trashing it and throwing it away. I'm gonna show you how to save on print paper and ink. Here we go. So here I have a piece of paper that I've already printed on. But this whole column down here is empty space. So is this. So is the bottom and a little bit of the top. So the idea is to print, uh, set up a template on in Lightroom that will print in those areas. So right now I have this sliver selected over here. So I'm going to run a, this through the printer. It's going to print there. And then if I don't like it, I can move that sliver over and then print next to it and next to it. I probably won't print over the text, but I could. So let's go over to Lightroom. Here is a before and an after post-processing version of this image. Let's go up to the print tab and click it. Normally, when you click on the print module, it might default to say an 8x10 frame and fit your photo into those dimensions one way or another. Here I've taken the 8x10 and scaled the left margin all the way to the right and left about a half inch. As you can see the image is square inside of it. To get it to be full and fill the section that I'm displaying here, you have to go up and click this Zoom to Fill checkbox. Once you have done that, you can click inside the frame area and drag the image left and right to position the part you are interested in looking at. Now you just need to insert your paper into the printer in the correct direction and make a print of it. All right, so here's the print. Okay, I can see in here there's probably a little too much magenta, maybe needs to take off some saturation out of it, but it went right down here, told me exactly what I wanted to know. That'll help save you a bunch of paper. It also doesn't take long to print this. So what if you need to make additional changes to the image? Well, go ahead and do that, and then come back to the print module and just grab the edge of the margin and pull it over and the uh, sliver will move. Here's a good way to store that extra paper. Make yourself a little label. See mine goes here, it folds down so I can read it from both angles and I just took some clear tape to attach it. But um, I, I just use that, and then I can tell instantly uh, where my where my test uh, paper is for my uh, for my printer, and I do this for five by sevens as well. In fact, that brings up a good point: is I could do this test on a five by seven. I don't have to use a full size piece of paper like that. So that's how I save time, ink, and paper. Every time I have to. Uh, turn on my my Epson inkjet printer because I don't use it that often
So I hope you save some time too. I'll see you next time. Thanks.